Hi folks, thanks very much for joining me for this week's River tutorial. Uh, it's a small weighted bug, so without further ado, let's get into it. So in the vise we have a Hanak H230 barbless hook, it's at size 14. And this is a medium wire hook in black nickel. I've coupled it with a 2.4mm copper bead from Hanak. And the thread I'm going to be using today is the UTC Ultra at 140 denier. So first thing I'm going to do is get a bit of wax onto my thread. And I'm going to just lock the bead into place by building a little on-ramp at the fly. I mean, some I've seen some tyres, they're... Um, they don't mind the bead moving up and down on the hook, but it, it really annoys me, so uh, I'm just going to make sure it doesn't move up and down the hook while I'm working. So I've got that in place. I've brought the thread up to just beyond the point of the hook, and I'm just going to take away my rat's tail. I'm going to have a little tag in this fly. It's the Glowbright number 15. As you can see, it's purple. I'm just going to take a small length of that off and fold it in half, fold it in half again. Now before I dress it up to the hook, I'm just going to quickly bring my thread up to just at the bottom of my on-ramp and I'm going to try and capture in just the edge of it. Once you've got the edge caught in, it's much easier to pull it and bring your tag onto the top of the shank of the hook. Just makes your life a little easier. So bring it down and I've stopped my thread this time just where a barb would be on the hook, just here. Now I don't want a long tag but I want it slightly longer. Normally I would come in at the bend here and snip and then that way I would consistently get my tails correct. But on this one I want it slightly longer by about two or three millimetres. I'll just snip that away, rough it out a bit. Now, that's the tag. I'm going to add some Coq de Leon, which I've got here. Uh, this is the clump of it. Now, actually, the, the Coq de Leons, they come in different flavours, so the feather I'm actually going to use is this one here, as you can see, um, it is a slightly different shade, but the, they give lots of movement, Coq de Leon feathers, uh, and I'm a big fan of using them. So I'm going to take about half a dozen strands from the stock, and I'm simply going to lay that on top and past my tag. Now, the fibres I've chosen to use are just slightly darker, uh, which gives you good contrast against the, the purple tail. So I'm just going to remove my waist now. Now when you're tying in all these materials, you've got to be aware that you are creating bulk at the back here. Uh, so if you want to tie a thinner nymph, I would suggest you use a much thinner thread than I've chosen to use today. And I'm already regretting it. <laughs> Okay, the body material uh, is going to be some black pheasant tail. It's been dyed black. And the rib I'm going to use is the Vineyards number 27. Now, I'll do the rib first. And what I'm going to do is dress that again. I'll show you at the top, but I'm going to bring it to my side. And it's been caught just before the on-ramp there. And I'll just bring that to the end. Now, th there's pros and cons to the thread you select to tie with. So, I mean, I like to tie with ultra thin stuff like the Vivas and the Fish On um, Ultimate Tying Threads. But the trade off with that is it's very difficult to create bulk or uh, tapers in your thorax. So, uh, you know. You've got to make up your mind before you start what kind of fly you want. I'm just going to take a few strands 
from my dyed black pheasant tail and I'm going to catch that in at the tip. Now it's at this point that you can start to level out your fly or build your taper as you want it. And that's quite a nice taper and it's taking no effort at all with, um, with this um, UTC thread. Okay, next then I'm going to come in with my hackle pliers, grab the tips. Now I was I was doing this the other day and I was mentioning that the, the delicacy of the feathers at the bottom is the most dangerous part and it was suggested to me that if I open my vise up and turn it like so, if you've got that facility of course, um, it's much easier, you can much more easily avoid the point of the hook. So I've started to do that and it's actually quite a great, a good tip. Uh, so I'm no longer juggling about trying to um, avoid the hook point. And then once, once you're past that sort of danger point, if you like, you can then simply turn your vise back and lock it off again. Now that's great if you've got a vise that rotates. If you haven't, then you've got to take extra care while you're bringing your fibres round about the hook point. Because that's the point where it'll, um, it'll snap away from you. So that's uh, gone quite well. I'm going to lock that down now with my thread. Get several wraps in just to make sure it's in place. And then you can turn away, take, sorry, take away your waste. Now I'm just going to tidy that ever so slightly, it doesn't take much. A couple of wraps should do it. And what I'm going to do is, because I've brought my fibres that way, I'm going to go the opposite direction with my rib. And that just makes it stand out from the fibre slightly. Now if you haven't got silver, gold, gold works just as well. I just think the silver um, shows up much nicer on the black. Okay, so I've locked my wire in place with my thread there and all I'm going to do is just twist that away. So that's looking not too bad. Next then, we're going to add a little hot spot and I'm going to use some of the hens number 18, which is, is quite a deep purple. and it just complements my tail. Now, some tires would um, tie in like a CDC collar here to, to give it that little bit of movement, but I, I don't do that with this fly. Um, I think it's all about the purple hotspot, to be honest. So, if you're of a mind to, and I like doing this quite a bit, as you've probably noticed from my tie-in, is I split the thread and I'm making a dubbing loop to do this bit. But on this occasion, uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to dub on my hotspot. Like so. You don't need very much material. And you want just to get that profile right. So once you've got that in place, you can hand finish if you wish, wish even, um, or you can put a half hitch in. I'm going to attempt to use the tool of the devil here. Just put a little quick finish in. And then, once I've got that tied off, I can simply remove my thread. 
Now, if you were of a mind to, you could add a contrasting colour, um, such as green, orange, you know, whatever takes your fancy really. But I'll leave this as is, and just to finish it off, I'm going to just add a very small spot of UV. Of course, you can use varnish or super glue. the top, cure that off it's a fairly light nymph this um, but by the time I get back out fishing I suspect it's going to be around July August time so the rivers should be on their bones uh, and this will be ideal so just tease out a little bit of the ribbon trim away the stuff you don't want and there we go so there's a fly called the purple nasty uh, this isn't quite as nasty as that but uh, purple is a great colour for trout works really well so I hope you enjoyed that I hope you got something out of it um, thanks very much for watching if you haven't subscribed to the channel please think about doing so now and thanks for watching.